Moving forward towards the method number two, that is by using a less comprehension and the brute force. So what is a brute force? Brute force is nothing but it consists of the largest possibilities of every kind of the movements or every kind of the techniques on which it's gonna get worked out. So let me give you an example like in a chess, if you are going to get moved in uh, two moves and you need to win in the particular two moves. So what does the brute force algorithm is going to do is it's going to check each and every possibilities of to winning that how we can move in the particular two moons and it's going to check a large number of, of the possibilities so they are quite simple enough so that's what the brute force is all about so over here we are again going to initialize a string and an empty string over here and after that we are going to go through the elements of our string but up to the first of the string up to the half of our length of our given string and after that we have set a condition that if the we are moduling our length of the string which is going to get divided by up to the range of our length of the string of that particular element on which we are going through and after that we are having uh, again dividing the length of our string with the length of our string number one so this was the modulus over here and this is the dividend over here and after that we are not using this thing and which tends to be equal to the string number one and if this tends to be true then we are storing the string one from the zero up to that position which is the nine into the string number two and we have them as an output so let me give you a brief intro that what this if condition is going to do is first it's going to take the a element out of it and it's going to divide it the length and it's going to get to the end of the string and uh, it's again going to divide it and this is going to be equal to the string number one but this won't be because the a after the dividend it doesn't get us anywhere after that it's going to get incremented by the two variable so which is going to get the double a and after that it's again going to do that since it won't be after that it's going to be up to the b element that is up to the fourth element which is a b so it's going to be triple a into the b and it's going to divide it which tends to be the false similarly it goes for the b and the next b and the c and the next c but while coming towards the third c over here it's going to get divided that is it's going this uh, triple a triple b and to the triple c they are get going to be divided with the another itself contributed strings over here and after that repeated string, they get equal to the string number one over here. So when this both the substrings which we have passed into the if condition and the string number one root, they both really get similar up to, then we are storing that particular index elements into the string number two and we have them as an output.